Good afternoon, Flesh Sacks. Welcome to part three of Folly Three, my playthrough of Folly Three, and this is uh, Gavin, the Tame Whale, um, and we are going to have a look around. Hmm. Um, and we're going to have we're gonna head down into this little town, see what's happening. Um. Galaxy News radio signal found. Bit fuzzy. Enclave radio. And now, one of my inspirational quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry, straight to your heart. Hmm. There never was a time, in my opinion, some way could not be found to prevent the drawing of the sword. Hmm. Oh, that was it. Right. Time to get my baseball bat. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's great, uh, President Eden. Um, we'll find out more about the Enclave later. So, this is Springvale? Let's have a look in the mailbox. So here you got three frag grenades and some uh, some drugs. That's quite good for a mailbox. I think they sort of give you a lot of stuff just coming out. Springvale, there you go. Um, you know they're a bit generous. Some beer. I never really drink the um, alcohol in this game. But uh, when you come out here, if you do a little exploring. You can find some things. Uh, sometimes I take the alcohol and I sell it because it's sort of good value at the beginning. Um, so there's a an iBot. This is an the Enclave. Control these. Send the radio signal out. They don't attack you. Um, they will attack other things that are nearby. Um, they'll attack you if you attack them. And uh, they're pretty tough. They shoot some lasers, shotgun shells. Hmm. Yeah, I said there was a lot of stuff here, but I don't know. Maybe I was lying. Take all of that. I, uh, yeah, I think they try to reward exploration. Did I say that already? When you start, um, that's quite useful. Uh, well, actually, that'll increase your uh, unarmed, I think, which isn't actually useful because I never really use unarmed. Here's a safe. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Chinese pistol. I'll just take all of that. Um, let me just see. I think there's a hotkey system where I can uh, I can set weapons to various things. Maybe maybe that's just on the console version. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, the ten, ten millimeter pistol is better at this point. Um, I think I'm probably going to keep a gun on me uh, in case I get ambushed. Uh, it'll probably do more damage, but uh, I'm going to use the baseball bat or anything that I find later um, as a preference when sneaking up on people so there's like oh 
sorry, uh, finger slipped. <laughs> um, hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have a gun. There you go. I'll just put that away. Um, what's interesting about this game? But some people say there's no kind of backstory to it, but if you pay attention to little c clues and things, you you learn little things. Like I picked up a Chinese pistol. You find that the Chinese are sort of invading the country, perhaps spying. Um, you see that house I just came from. There's luggage outside. Um, so it's like these people were packing to escape uh, when the bombs came down. But um, Nuka Cola. You got a lot of Nuka Cola in this game. So there's a lot. Yeah, there is sort of lots of little story elements that are sort of in the environment and in notes and computers that you find, which are quite interesting. But we'll talk about those as we come to them. I'm just going to head over this way and have a look about... Um, there was actually, I feel like, more things that you can uh, drink from a fire hydrant. You can drink from various things like toilets and sinks and things. Uh, this gives you 24 hit points back, but also um, 5 points of radiation, so it's a trade-off. Yes. How much is... I uh, don't know. Hello. Um. Letter from Vault Tech. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Gomez. So this was uh this is a letter of allowing them um a letter saying come to the vault. You've been selected to be in the vault. And that was probably Officer Gomez's uh rest in peace, may he rest in peace. Um his probably his family, his ancestors or his great grandparents or whatever that lived in there. Um I'm a bit worried that Officer Gomez dying means that I won't get um, to be able to go back in the vault. I think it's possible that that might happen. So here we are, Springville School. Um, yeah, this is uh, full of raiders if I remember. So I might not want to bother with that just now. You start off pretty weak. Hmm. And uh, combat's quite dangerous to begin with. I, I reckon I'm probably going to die a few times and it'd be really embarrassing. But um, there's someone in this house I can go and talk to. Hello, my beautiful America. This is President Eden. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? <laughs> Colin Moriarty. The owner of Moriarty Saloon in Megaton. That sack of shit is convinced that I'm some crazy junkie who stole money from him. Nine percent, that's never gonna work. Look, I used to work for that slob. Doing, you know favors for guys. Well, I got sick and tired of it. I told Moriarty I'm taking my share of the caps and leaving. I even slept with the pig to seal the deal. Next morning he tells me I couldn't leave. So I bolted. I took my money and ran. Now he's branded me a thief and a junkie and sent his cronies to find me. I guess I need a new hiding place. Um... Ba, ba, ba. 
You'd do that for me? I can't believe it. You hardly even know me. Thanks, kid. You watch yourself out there. Bit of karma. Yeah, I can't really take anything here without stealing. Um. Well, she says she's not a junkie, but she's got drugs there. Uh, yeah, so we can tell Moriarty when we meet him later that she's gone. This is the way up to Megaton. I see a wee sign up here. The first time I played this game I didn't really see this sign. Um, it's kind of hard to read actually. It's getting dark. Better find shelter before something comes. Something terrible. Sometimes there are uh, traders down here, but not today. Please, water. Help, please, please help me. I need water. I'm dying. This guy, uh, yeah, these are like uh, you get a couple of these guys who are like asking for water, and if you give them purify water, um, you get karma. And it's funny because like you go to them, oh, do you want some water? And uh, they'll only take purified water, which I feel, I feel is a little bit, um, a little bit picky, you know. If I was dying out in the wasteland and I was thirsty, I would just drink anything. Um. It's Megaton. Have you been living in a hole or something? Yep. Everyone's heard of Megaton. They have plenty of water in there, but they only give it to residents, or people who can pay for it. Um, yeah. So you can get karma, you can keep giving them purify water. Purify water is quite, um, relatively rare. Um. Please, help me. Sorry, sorry. Um. It's a dead ant. Whoa. So Megaton's made out of um, airplane parts. You see at the top there there's a sniper. Um, I think there's a way you can jump up there and talk to him. But it's a bit tricky. Uh, but you never really deal with him. Unless you sort of engage him in combat. Have yourself a nice visit, partner. And this robot's been sort of just programmed to greet people. I'll be another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, girl. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holla if you need something. Ah, oh, something, something really annoys me about Lucas Sims. I think it's because he's just like, he's not a very effectual character. He doesn't really do anything. And he's a little bit kind of... Full of himself, I think. Friendly and well mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Bo -bo -bo. Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. 
I'd ask around town. See, he just said that there was a there was another newcomer. And I feel like he's talking about your dad, but then he's like, oh, I don't know, I don't remember anyone. I feel like he would be the person that would know. So, let's just say he's a liar. Um, can I ask him for directions to various places around town, but I know my way, so I'm not going to bother with that just now. Um, what about it? There's a bit of a weird way they introduce this. I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? <sighs> Maybe. Actually, my science is quite low. Um... Yeah, it's a weird way they introduce it because it's um, you don't see the bomb at first, and yet you're talking to him about it. I mean, the uh, the robot outside mentions it. Maybe it's in the computers when you're in uh, Vault 101, but it's like it's not very clear. First time I came here, it was like I was like, "What about that bomb?" And uh, I didn't really know what I was talking about. So. Oh, all right, fine, but listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, save us from a nuclear bomb and uh, you'll get 100 caps. 5% chance of making it 500. Might as well. Not an option, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, right. Great. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. Ba, ba, ba. It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements too spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to DC. The place is a war zone. Hmm. What do you want to know? All right, shoot. Well, come to think of it, uh -huh. I remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. Who? That man's trouble. Moriarty. Can you take that line again? Maybe uh, pronounce it properly? No. Moriarty. Carry on. You idiot. Shoot you in the head. Right, um... There's various places we can go around here. I... We'll have a check down here. Well, we'll probably head up to the saloon. Alright. Um... Yeah, yeah, hi. Um... This is the clinic. The doctor's a bit of a pain. This is a kind of eatery. This is a lunatic worshipping the bomb. Right, so I need explosives 25 to do that. And I have... Bum, 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 22. So maybe in a little while. Or if I, I could boost some of my stats, but I don't know. Actually, we should talk about the bomb in a minute, because there's an interesting thing I think about this game and that bomb. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up, I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. So, you're cranky, you're cranky, Doctor. Um... I have to say, of all the rat-infested hellholes that I've lived in, this one is the least hellish. Great. 
I'm the town doc. If it's cut, I sew it up. If it's infected, I cut it off. A doctor doesn't talk about his patients. At least not to strangers, he doesn't. Pa pa pa. My speech is so low. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I don't think so. Nice try. So, um, yeah, I don't really need any from him just now. Try not to hurt yourself. Uh, oh, I should put my gun away. This is a bit threatening. Sorry. Um, I did come in here for a reason. To wreck the place. No. Um. Yeah. Hi. Um. Yeah. That's weird. Maybe it's not here right now. There is a thing. Oh, here. Uh. Right. So there's a bunch of stuff. There's a hollow tape here. Um. Now I want to be careful because I can't really take any of this stuff without it being stealing. But you can take the hollow tape. Bing. And we'll listen to this, it'll start a new quest for us. Hey Doc, I'm only sharing this with you because you seem like someone we can trust. Have you heard about the synthetic men they make up north in the Commonwealth? Well, the rumors are true. They're called androids. They're men like us, just made out of different parts. I know one of these androids. He's looking for a trustworthy doctor to perform some facial surgery. Can you do it? Do you know someone who can? Also, do you know anyone who's really a whiz with computers? Yeah, so this starts a thing where they're talking about someone who is an android. Um, you just have to learn more about it at this point. Um, I always thought they talk about the Commonwealth up north, which I assume is sort of part of Canada or something. But um, I've always thought that would have been a good um, a good setting for a new Fallout game. Uh, but uh, for various reasons, I mean, you'll learn more about it later, and we might talk about it later. Uh, but it's um, it sounds interesting. And they went with like you know in uh, the New Vegas, they went with. Uh, you know, that kind of Nevada, cowboy, kind of western feel. Um, and uh, it was alright. I, I, I like New Vegas, it's okay. Um, but it's, it's not... There's things that, the things about the setting I'm not too fond of. Yes, that's locked, and yes, I can see you on Right, okay, I was just looking at it. Gosh. Um, yeah, so New Vegas, uh, the setting, I'm not, uh, I'm not too sure about it. But, um... No. I uh I guess I guess uh, one thing I don't like about it as well is that it's set sort of more in the future and things are a bit more civilized and I kind of like the uh completely run down feel of uh of this game. Let's go in the saloon. You can see uh, this guy waving at you. You can see this guy trying to walk in at a table. Uh, yeah, you need something? Piece of junk. Hey. Every day it's the same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Work. What's happening? Come on, work. Stupid radio. Goddamn radio. Boy, just leave it be. Is that? I like the on Damn it. Station. Shut it up. You're not going to get anything. Don't even think of breaking into that. Shut up. Right. Yeah, we'll go talk I to Bark. Just when I'd all but given up hope. My dear girl. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you... Well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. You can tell it's creepy right away, can't you? Um... Don't you see? You're a free agent. 
You have no ties here, no interest in this settlement's affairs. Megaton means nothing to you. I represent certain interests. Nazis. Maybe this town, this Megaton, Satanists. has a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. If this settlement were to go away, why, who would really care? Certainly not you or I. Yeah. No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. Yeah, um... Sims is an idiot. Yeah. He prides himself on his position as mayor and sheriff of this scrapyard. You got a point there. Um... I'm gonna uh, defuse it because um, I'm gonna be a nice guy. I don't think I've actually ever blown it up. Um, we'll talk about that in a sec. I'll just deal with this. I advise you against that particular course of action. If you interfere with my employer's wishes, you will find he can be quite mm, disagreeable. Now that is a disappointment. Well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Good day. What? A traveler, eh? Hello. Let's talk to Lucy. Hey. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Hmm. Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Aravu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. They're probably all dead. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. No, he'll be dead too. Um... Blood ties. Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Yeah. Where is Arafu? Arafu is northwest of Megaton. On an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family. And a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. Hmm. What? Apart from the wasteland critters, slaver raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. I don't appreciate your tone. Okay. I couldn't tell you, really. I'd talk to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Hey, Thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. Ba 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 ba. I'm gonna talk to old jobby features here. Drink. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Yeah. Um. I'm gonna be nice. Gonna be nice. You're not gonna hit me, yell at me, not even berate me a little bit? Yeah, sure. Well now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. I have gained karma. 
Bum, bum, bum. Oh yeah, I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Moriarty, you mean? Oh, I can use my strength to intimidate him. I don't really want to do that. 8%. Sorry, smooth skin. I can't take the risk. Moriarty will beat the shit out of me for even talking to you. Evening. Mm. Yeah, hi. Um, so Nova. Nova's a prostitute, but it's kind of all euphemistic in this game because obviously you can have horrible, horrible violence, uh, but not a lot of talking about sex. Um. Got something on your mind? Um, not really. Uh, I'll talk to Walter actually. What do you need? I'll leave your money. Um. Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs, and I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Mm -hmm. Now I don't expect much from strangers. Good. But if you've got the know-how. I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. Right. From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. Mm-hmm. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. What can I tell you about Megaton? Well, that fucking bomb is killing us all slowly. Language. A piece of information. I'm gonna swear to you, yeah. I take care of the water purification plant. That old rusted hunk keeps us in clean water. For now. Well, people have been saying that the water purifier is <laughs> about to go. Honestly, I'll tell you what I tell them. I've been keeping that wreck going for 35 years, and this is the first time I've ever had a problem I couldn't fix. Hmm. Well, back to work. And, uh, who are you? Alright. Um, oh, I should have asked, uh, Jobby about Got a problem? the radio. Nova! Job. Good to see you again. Need a drink? Ba -ba -ba. A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, well, I found this place. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. Carol, eh? Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping to fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that, instead of being stuck in this dive. See you soon. So the fact that they, um, they can't get a good signal on the Galaxy News Radio is a, a plot point. Don't look at me like that. I'm going to talk to... Uh, Moriarty. All right. Hello, Moriarty, at your service. Jesus, Begora. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. Mm, I'm going to be around the bush a little bit. Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of DC. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. Ah, uh, yeah, if you were really Irish, you would say, I couldn't care less. Um, because I could care less, I believe, is the American idiom. So somebody should have checked that. The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lass. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? It's 
stay the fuck out of me business, don't go where you don't belong, and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. Sweetie again. What's, what's the problem? I keep these yokels knee-deep in booze and poon. Ugh. They keep me knee-deep in caps. It's a fair trade, if you ask me. You're lovely. I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. That's weird. Right, I'll ask about my dad. He um he wants to make you pay for the information, if I remember. But you can get it a sneaky way. My God, it's you, the little baby girl, all grown up, persistent little flower, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here, all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Hmm. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer, we're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information. And information is a commodity. Let's say... A hundred cops. And Daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. <sighs> All right, kid. And I guess there's nothing else we have to say to each other. Come back to me when you have the caps and we'll talk. One thing that bothers me about this is that he has an Irish accent, right? And... This is supposed to be set, I, I can't remember the exact timing of it, but maybe like 200 years or something after the nuclear bombs have fallen. And, uh, see you later. Information I got. Why did it cost you? Now you can, uh, oh, I can hack that maybe. I am going to, um, I'm trying to lockpick this. Boom! So I got his password and then I can have a look in here. And then find his notes on people. And you find out that he has gone to the Galaxy News Radio building in the ruins of DC. Um, and I've lost karma doing that. This better be important. I'm a busy man. That's all right. I don't mind. So the thing about Moriarty having an Irish accent is that he would have been born in America, surely, because um, he couldn't have come over from Ireland because I take it there wouldn't be like boats and planes and things anymore, and. Uh, if you're born in America and you're surrounded by Americans, even if even if your parents were Irish or your great-great-grandparents were Irish, 
you'd still have an American accent. So I feel like everyone in this game should have an American accent. But I suppose it just it just adds a kind of flavour to the game. But um, I'm not entirely sure that that would be correct. There's a lot of people you can talk to in the town. Um, the one thing I'm sort of interested in is going to create a side supply uh -huh. because you can get um, uh, some quests there. Um, but it, usually I get here it's night time, which is now, and create a side supply shut. So that is excellent. But what I will do now is I'll try and hunt down these leaks. I don't know if my repair's good enough to get them actually. Oh. A master plumber. Uh, so to repair 30. And I have 29. Uh, but I may have. Yeah, I could put my jumpsuit on. And suddenly I'm very good at fixing pipes. There you go. My magical t shirt helped us. Now, I. Can I make this? Oh! Yeah, the children of the atom. Quite dull. Um. There's one over here. Boom. Uh, yeah, you can go into Children of Atoms, Children of Atoms Church, and you can talk to the guy when he's out here preaching. But he's just really—they just talk about how they worship the atomic bomb, and they have built this religion around the idea of. Uh, the bomb. Here's the last one. Excellent. Um, and they don't really do anything. The The only thing that's useful about them is you can donate money to them and that will improve your karma. But even though I lost a little bit of karma, I think my karma is probably quite good. Check it. Where are my stats? Yeah, I'm still good. Um, I find it's really easy to have good karma in this game, even without trying to top it up. It's actually the only way... There are ways to get bad karma, I suppose, if you want to. Um, but they usually involve, like, just needlessly killing people. Still shut. Right, I'm going to see if I can find Walter and tell him about this. Uh, these pipes are fixed. He's probably still in. Oh no, wait. Who's that? Oh, yes? Leo. Leo yeah, comes here and takes drugs. Of into there. He acts all guilty if you talk to him. You can find out he's taking drugs and you can get some karma for helping him, or you can blackmail him, or you can get him to be a drug dealer, basically, and give you drugs if you, that's the kind of character you want to play. Um, you're not Walter. Hey there. Yeah, yeah. No, he's still in here, boozing up. What do you need? Well, I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. But listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out there in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap, I can keep the plant running and the pipe should be just fine. We got a deal? Yeah, sure. 
Good. This just keeps looking better. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. So that is interesting. We've if we so if you pick up scrap metal now you get some money back from them if you bring it back to them. Um I really want to get into career side supply and have a talk to Moira in there. Um Boing. Uh but it's be shut just now, so I'll probably just wait around. Um for now, um I think I'll leave it there for now. Um seems like a good time. Um and next time we'll probably talk to Moira, maybe do some of our quests. Maybe go to Arafu, deal with that. I don't know. It's a bit dangerous to go down that way at the moment. But it might be worth it. Um, we could head into DC right away. Um, the only problem is going to DC is quite dangerous. Uh, there's a lot of super mutants in there and they are tough as nails. Especially for like a starting character. Um, but uh, I'll maybe make a decision by the time I do the next video. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And uh, if you've got any comments, just leave them below the video and uh, if you have any preference about what I do next, what missions I take on or if there's anything else in Megaton you want me to have a look at before I scarf her, let me know. Um, there are other people to talk to, uh, mostly it's just kind of story stuff. Um, um, also I should probably talk about the bomb as well. There's a little thing about the bomb that I want to talk about in terms of this game but uh, we can leave that for next time. and. Um, and I'll see you there in part four.